Hey, folks, how's it going? I'm Josh. I'm checking out Carl Pilkington and Warwick Davis go shopping. Guys, please continue to leave your comments below. All our videos, specific comments. If you're a subscriber, check those out first. We also have a Patreon. If you can't afford to donate to it, that is all good. Just continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. That's all we can ask for. And also, if it gets blocked here, we put it on Daily Motion. So if you had to follow us there as well, that'd be cool. If you'd like to do that, let's jump into it. <clears throat> Man, throw feels a little rough there. <laughs> honest what I'm worried about with you tagging along you know are you gonna become a hindrance just a second <laughs> he said that am on the I, show. no don't want to so get this awesome. straight from the start am I tagging tagging along feels like you're slightly doing this under duress and I you've well I don't, I don't know why we're doing this tagging. no it's not tagging along we're going on the trip together and, and he's driving I'm charged with opening your eyes to some to the way the world really is but what, why? What, where? I, I'm, I'm more travelled and more experienced. Yeah, but you're small-minded. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ricky sold it to me as I might get in the world record books for going round with you. What's the record? There's, there, you can't say there's a record for going around the world with a dwarf. That's not. There's, that's... There isn't one. I've looked. There isn't one. So, so we can make one. It, that's oh, no. ridiculous. Well, what are you saying then? You go around the world. You don't rush. You don't dawdle, but you take in the sight. So when we go round and we come back, we are full of culture and knowledge, and we've brought something away from it. We've not just got jet lag and a tropical disease. I know, but it's just funny hearing you talk like this, because I probably had that attitude at the beginning. And when you do it, you're shitting yourself to death. You've got a temperature. You're having a bollock for lunch you know, <laughs> from some animal you've never heard of. I doubt you'll be saying, oh, yes, I'm loving the culture. You'll be pissed off. I know a few of you guys said I, I needed to watch just before I got into the series, and I, and I honestly completely forgot about this clip until you guys started bringing it up again recently. I completely forgot about this um, clip watching it before the series. This is the sort of book we want, it's like a travel book. A journey through every country in the world. Right? Looks amazing. How There's long... a glacier there. How long do you think the longest cat is? What? Longest cat in the world. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm thinking about this. Uh, I, I know, it's six foot. 123 centimetres. Right. What are you in centimetres? Um, oh about 100 and... Five, I think. So this cat is longer than you. <laughs> That's a domestic cat. That's amazing. Look at Carl. Look at some of these sites. I'm looking at a cat here. That's playing a piano. You're showing me an old rock. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> you just got such a blinkered view of everything. <laughs> he hasn't got a clue. Oh, Carl, man. He actually thinks it is. It's gonna. Carl, can you just help us with these books? I need to put them back. That's all I'm going to be doing. I'm a helper. Do you keep wandering off? Are you going to keep doing this when we're on our trip? Well, we just keep bickering. Like you nagging at the dude. Oh, it's hard work this is, isn't it? You see, he's negative in everything. Everything I say, he wants to find a fault in it. Um, I, I don't think I've ever met anybody with such a such an outlook. I'm not good around enthusiastic people. If family's like me, we don't get enthusiastic about anything. We always expect the worst. So that when it happens, we know how to deal with it. How's he going to deal with it? He's not going to deal with it. I've got kids at home. I'm trying to think how I enthuse them about things. I normally bribe them sweets or something. Maybe that works for Carl. I don't know. See, that's why that bloke cut the rope in it and touching the void. He had someone like him. Look at the mountain. It's another one. We've seen him. He cut it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just none the wiser as to what I was meant to get out of today with Warwick. Hey, what have they got in these to start with? They feel heavy. 
I went into the camping shop and he said, oh, carry this bag for me. Get me that off that shelf, won't you? Well, he, he just kept giving me signs that... Walking around for hours. ..he won't be able to do stuff himself. I said to him, I said, I don't want you being a hindrance to me. Yeah, but I don't want to be lugging your stuff about. I'm looking after my own stuff. <laughs> well, exactly, so why have you sorted him out for me? <laughs> it is a bit long, isn't it? He put wellies on, he had to tuck his bollocks in. <laughs> There's nothing that's a standard fit that fits him, which oh, means no. he's going to be saying, oh, me, me wellies are chafing. Not his ankles, his fucking ball sack. <laughs> so I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> and I told him, if he goes down for whatever reason no. and he needs me help, I've got to drag him. Now, what I did was... <laughs> you're talking about it like you're in Vietnam. He's not going to go down, is he? I asked him to get in a rucksack in case he did go down, and he wasn't happy about that. I don't think I'll ever feel the need to get in the backpack. Honestly? Honestly. I don't know why he's not happy. I'm the one carrying him. I'm not getting in the backpack. Not getting in the backpack. Not getting in the backpack. It's not funny, really. If we're in the middle of nowhere... Yeah. ..and we have to... You know, he's talking about seeing orangutans. Now, I don't know how they act around someone of his size. I don't know what, whether they're just seen black and white, and to him, he's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, d I don't know, honestly, I don't know, but, but why him? What's, oh, no. what's the reason for taking him? What's he bringing to the party here? Um, I, I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> that be funny. It is your time. That was good, guys, man. Thanks for that. That was funny. Um, and make sure there's nothing else after this. Sorry, I know you guys have told me to do an ad block, but I'm having problems with the ad block. Yeah, that was the end of it. It's been, um, just give me a bunch of errors and won't let me play the videos now. So, a lot of people just said reinstall. I will probably just have to uninstall and reinstall it, but just haven't done that yet. But thank you guys. I enjoyed that. That was funny. Um, you guys right. I probably should have watched it before I watched the show, but I still enjoyed it though, man. It's, uh... Anything with Carl in it, it's just fantastic, man. And it's, it's, what do you call it? How irritated Carl was here and how irritated he was on the show and how mad, mad he was getting at work for, like, his work wasn't getting sick or any type of jazz and how Ward was getting better treatment. Like, he had, like, better rooms and all that. And um, Carl's like, he wish he would just get sick. Like, he'll at least get the shits or whatever, like, something so he can be just as miserable as he is. And then when he got to, like, that stair scene when they were going up the stairs and, um, you know, Ward was crying and upset because, like, he wanted to make it and push through and, um, Carl won't let him give up, and like, like you know, it was really stern with the man. So that was good. Carl, I feel like across the board, I said that in the episode that it shows Carl's like a he's a good guy, man. He treats you the same across the board. Like he might be, and he says the stuff that people are thinking, and and now you can't really like say that because um, all you can ask for is somebody just if somebody just wants to learn about something, that's all you can really ask for. You know what I mean? And like, um, Carl just a little more blunt when he's curious in regards like his short and issues he come across from being short. How is this house? Like, is his house all short stuff? Like those type of questions. Other people just kind of just sit around like, you know, people are afraid to ask those questions, but a lot of people think it, you know, you think it, um, it reminds me of this joke when old boy was like, uh, the first thing I forgot what the comedian was named, but he was talking about the Siamese twin sisters. And he said, you know, um, a lot of things people are curious about, are like, what do they do in regards to, like, a boyfriend? Because I think the girl mentioned they had a boyfriend. And he said, like, um, <laughs> the girl's like, you better get ready because you're on ball duty tonight. Like, if they're, like, sharing a boyfriend or whatever. Like, so, like, what are they doing sexually in those, like, you know, situations? Like, how do they poop? What if, if um, does only one of them feel like they have to poop and the other one just kind of has to just be on standby while it's happening? Stuff like that. So, yeah. The good thing is Carl asks questions. He might be blunt with it, but he's, he's like, when he's actually curious... And I like when he, like, uh, said this before, when he just sums up stuff. Like, he's showing, like, trying to show him, like, glaciers and stuff like that. He's like, so I'm looking at, uh, like, uh, cats over here, and you trying to show me an old rock. It's just so funny, like, how he just makes, he oversimplifies everything, and it's, it's great. It's fantastic. So, I don't, I don't have anything else to say about this, guys. Uh, this was funny. Then you guys recommended this again, because I completely forgot about this clip. Um... Hey, I really should have gone to it before I got to the show, but I feel like I, I enjoy it, still enjoyed it. So it is what it is. All right, guys, that is all for this one. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.